Well, Tasmanians have gathered to celebrate a vital piece of history, Hobart's floating bridge. The bridge was a significant part of Hobart life more than 70 years ago and once dubbed a remarkable engineering feat. It provided a vital link between Hobart's eastern and western shores and today the floating bridge was recognised as a one of a kind for Australia. I think at the time it was built it was a very difficult time, it was war time and so the solution that was found was very cost effective and solved the problem of getting people from the east shore to the, to the main part of Hobart. After two years of planning, construction took place in 1938. Five years later, it was opened to the public and dubbed a remarkable engineering feat. For its time, it was uh, really edge of what engineering could be, bearing in mind that reinforced concrete at that stage was a fairly new technology. The floating bridge resulted in a thriving eastern shore. Within 21 years, the population increased fold from 5,000 to 30,000 people. Well, I think it really is very significant. It was certainly significant for Hobart to connect the eastern and western shores, and it led to you know, a great population explosion on the eastern shore. People forget that engineering is not just bridges and roads. It's actually about creating opportunities for Australians to move forward. Clarence Mayor Doug Chipman says he has fond memories of going across the bridge to school every day. Some days it was pretty um, calm and no problem at all, except for the traffic of course. It was always queued up, we were talking about in the late 1950s. But uh, occasionally you'd get the really strong southerlies coming up and the waves would come over the top and the cars would get covered with spray. The floating bridge was closed due to storm and periodic repairs. The Tasman Bridge took its place in 1964. Olivia Hicks, Wind News.